What's up everyone? Welcome back to Tan Time. This is your host Donnie and today we will be unboxing this big ass lawnmower. <laughs> this is the Toro 60 volt max super recycler lawnmower and as you can see it's a pretty big box. came delivered like this so that's the outside retail boxing so let's go ahead and open it up this is a 60 volt 7.5 amp electric lawnmower up to 50 minute runtime Alright, so we're going to open it up and see what's inside. I think most of this comes pre-assembled. You probably just need to assemble the handle. Where did you buy this? This is our Home Depot. Home Depot? Okay, so this was purchased at Home Depot. And let's see, upon opening, Battery shipped separately. <laughs> Did you have battery regulations? So this doesn't have the battery in here? Okay. Is this supposed to come with the battery? It's supposed to. Okay, maybe you got shipped separately then? Possibly. Okay, so we'll let you guys know um, if the battery got shipped separately, but this is pretty much how it is inside. And this came from Home Depot, you said, right? Yeah. Okay. So as you can see, pretty well packaged. Got beat up on the corner a little bit from, uh, was it a UPS? Yeah. But overall, it looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and start taking things out of it. So you got the bag that holds the grass, right? As you cut. Actually, this one doesn't look like you need to uh, assemble anything, huh? Oh, you have to put uh, some of the blade. Okay, so we have a blade. We got the bag. Is the handle connected? Looks like, yeah, it's connected. So I think, oh wait, actually the handle came off. So. Oh, you know what it is? The handle's connected, but it's not bolted down. So I think we need to remove everything at once. And then we got the instructions here with, looks like it's a toolless kit. You probably just screw those on. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the lawnmower, but we'll probably need to do it off camera since this looks like we need to manhandle it out of the box. Yeah, so, so we'll be back. Okay. All right guys, so this is the lawnmower out. So most of it does come pre-assembled. You don't have to do much. It looks like you just need to um, take those three, three knobs here and then bolt these down on the side here where these bubble wraps are. And it's, and it does not come with the charger and battery. Um, it actually, the kit does come with it, but Home Depot took it out and shipped it separately, but that hasn't come yet. So we'll have to check on that. So if you buy it on Home Depot, um, make note that they will take out the battery and charger and ship it separately. So it's pretty easy. You actually got the area here where you would just bend it out and Probably slip right. it in and yeah and these are the knobs that you just put over it's in the bag so minimal assembly required over here as well so yeah and I believe since we're guys and we don't read the instructions but I think um, this comes out and goes into yeah. this old so 
So what we're going to do now is take these knobs that came with the instruction manual and we're just going to tighten it here. And you did that for that side, right? And then here, we would uh, pull this out. Oh, sorry, oh, twist. Oh, sorry. So if you if you twist this down, if you notice on this side, there's a mechanism that um, pretty much goes down, and it goes into the hole here. So go ahead and let's twist it out and move it down. Is that right in? Yeah. Is it in this side? Yep. So as you can see, this locks into this area. So this is pretty much adjustable. It's adjustable arm, right? Yeah, and this over here is like rubber, so it's that anti-vibration. Ah. So you don't feel it too much. Cool. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. I mean, you want to uh, put the bag on just to see what it looks like with the bag? Yeah, and this also, this one's like the 2002 uh, top version has a headlight and rubber wheels. Ooh. Also come with plastic wheels. Oh, okay. So 2022, they rubberized the wheels? For this model, okay. And then you got the headlights in the front as well. So you could mow your grass at night if you want. What's this extra blade? Do we need to install this or is it extra blade? Yeah, let's check. Okay, go ahead and. Oh, there's a blade down there already. That might be just an extra blade. Yeah. So here's the bottom of the mower. So this might be an extra blade or something else. So we'll look in the manual and let you guys know. But yeah, that's, oops, that's pretty much everything, right? What's the, uh, let's go ahead and put the bag on. Let's see what it looks like with the bag. And how much is this mower going for? On the website, it's 750. 750? Mm -hmm. it's actually 850. Wow. So, so right now, if you're watching the video, good time to buy it on Home Depot before they raise the price up. <laughs> so let's go ahead and unwrap this to see what it looks like without the wrapping. So the battery goes in there, it looks like. So this is a battery compartment. Got two LED headlights in the front here. Big battery compartment and the motor head. And then you got your controls here. Auto and max. We'll need to We'll need to install this guy too. But it looks like it's pretty easy. Hook it up on the hole here and the hole here. So I'll do it one handed while I am recording. So this is the stop and go. So when you use the lawnmower, you'll need to push this down and the lawnmower will work. And if you let go, it should spring back with this guy here. So. I didn't read the manual, but I assume that that's how it goes. Actually, it might be easier to install that thing first before putting this on, but I'll do that afterwards. So I just want to show you guys the handle. Okay, and it's, as you can hear, it's self-propelled. So one, put this down, two, operate that, and then if you want to stop it, you let this go and the thing streams back. 
So pretty easy, it's just like a gas lawnmower, but it's just electric, electric version, and we're putting it on the bag right now. So there's a hole inside that it goes on. Like, oh yeah, it goes on top. Again, we're too lazy to read the manual. <laughs> we're, we're doing it live. <laughs> oh no, it shouldn't go there. Oh, you know, it, it, it drops in. You see, it slides in. Okay. Yeah, right. so there's two sliding rails there and pretty much you just slide those two ends into it. Yep. There you go. Easy. Easy peasy. And it's self, like, like you said, self-propelled, right? Yep. And the last one. That's the key. This is the start. Yep, this is the start key, the last item. I think you just put it in there. So you just put it in there, right? Yep, that's it. Auto or max? Just press down to start. Oh, just press down to start? Unfortunately, we don't have the back. Oh. What's the difference between auto and max? Do you know? The rotation speed. Auto oh, rotation speed, okay. So there's a key. This one gets pushed down, and then the motor starts by pushing this down. So there you have it. Hey, you want to go uh, install this right here? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I think you have to take this out. It's probably easier to take it out and install, but I don't know which way it goes in. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, just put it in the hole. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then just goes here. There you go. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. So, yep, minimal, minimal installation. Electric lawnmower. Save the environment. Buy electric. You don't need to worry about gas. 160 volt battery goes in this bad boy here. And they said it's you can cut up to 50 minutes on a single charge. So this model, 21568, this looks like it's aluminum, it's not plastic. So the whole body down here is aluminum, which is definitely gonna be sturdy and last for many years. You got the adjustable wheels here too, adjustable height on both sides. So you can adjust the uh, um, front wheels to whatever height you want. And the back as well for the height of the grass. So you got your adjustment lever there on the back. Adjustment lever here. Adjustment lever here and here with the rubber wheels. And also, it looks like you got two modes to adjust here as well. So you just pretty much pop that out and you could adjust the whole arm system by a few degrees back and forth. But the aluminum construction on this is really nice. Some of the other uh, lawnmowers, their whole body is like composite plastic, but that won't last as long as aluminum, obviously. One thing about the battery compartment that I don't really like is it's kind of cool how it opens by itself, self opening. But if you look at that little nub there, it's plastic. And then they use this little plastic hook here and we know that these go bad really easily and this is a battery compartment so you'll be swapping the battery in and out a few times uh, not a few times but every time you use a mower so you'll be using this lid a lot and I'm not sure how long that will last so yeah this is this area here is plastic and it's got this little plastic clip 
and this is the battery lock button here with the one big battery that you'll put in here so I'm not a fan of that part of the lawnmower um, engine wise electric engine wise it looks everything else is pretty nice I mean this area the whole motor part is all composite plastic which is okay since it's just the electric motor and it's just, like I said this is all aluminum but this is also has a cool way of, uh, of um, after you're done with it it actually breaks down pretty easily and you can store it with minimal space so you pretty much just oops, remove the back here snap those back then lock those back up and then you just pretty much stand up the lawnmower and you just put it in your shed so the lawnmower could be stored vertically that's how it's designed for space saving because uh, not all of us have space for all these gardening equipment so it doesn't take up much space with this design So let's take a look around. So yeah, very compact um, space saving design. It just stands up like that after you're done. Obviously you'll have to put that bag somewhere, <laughs> but that doesn't take up much space. But as you can see, here's the bottom part. Here's the bottom of the mower. Got a single blade here. And then this is the, there's a belt that helps propel the real wheels. So it's uh, self-propelling when you're mowing. So this helps in assisting the mower moving forward when you're uh, mowing the lawn. So you don't have to put much effort. But yeah, pretty nice design. And all of this is all, all metal down here. So upon looking at the manual, there it's not an extra blade, it's actually two types of blade. So the blade that's currently installed on the mower, they call it the economy blade, which is, as you can see here, installed by default. So this is, that blade is probably there to, it's probably lighter battery life on the mower. So they call that the economy blade, that's my guess. And then this blade, which is, feels a lot heavier, this optional blade is called the Curved Performance Blade. And I'm guessing that this uh, cuts a lot better, but at the cost of maybe uh, the battery life not lasting 50 minutes, uh, shorter battery runtime. Um, I'm guessing maybe this blade might be also used if you have really thick grass that this will probably cut it better than the economy blade but yeah so that's what the extra blade is for so do they, they they do give you an extra blade so you do get your option of the economy blade which is already installed on the mower and the curved blade and installing it looks pretty easy it's just one bolt here looks like and then you can switch out the blade i'm gonna leave the economy blade on uh, my yard doesn't have uh wild grass or t tall grass so i'll keep it all, keep the economy blade but if i find myself uh, making a couple of passes to cut the grass down i might change out to this uh, curved blade and see how it goes so this lawnmower has two options you could use a bag which you could pop the bag on like i showed earlier before um, but right now as you see this compartment here is closed off you could um, it's installed by default mulch mode, which is bagless. So you would just use the lawnmower without the bag and basically it will just mulch and recycle the grass into your lawn. But if you want to use the bag, you'll have to remove this guy. So to remove it, it's pretty easy. Just pretty much uh, lift up that plastic piece there. Take 
push this in. Okay, push that in. And the whole thing comes out and then you would see the inside of the mower. And this is now in bag mode. So all the grass that cut will just, um, you'll need to install the bag obviously, but now the, the grass will just pretty much shoot into the bag if you don't want it to mulch. So the mulcher is installed by default. So keep that in mind. If you want to use the bag, you'll definitely have to remove this. But I rather, for me, I'm gonna just um, mulch it so that the grass just goes back onto the lawn for nutrients and yeah. So you got two options, bagless or mulch. You decide. This is what the charger looks like. I wish I had a charger and a battery, but Home Depot took it away from me. All right, so it's the next day from my uh, unboxing of the Toro, uh, the Toro electric lawnmower. So this is the second package that Home Depot uh, took the battery out of the big package and shipped it in the small one. It came today on a separate day. It just came one day delay from UPS, which is fine. So let's go ahead and open this package up just to see what the charger and battery looks like. Again, this was taken out of the original Toro retail box and Home Depot put it in a separate box because they wanted to ship the battery and the charger separately. So this should come, if you pick it up from a retail store, this should come together with the retail uh, package that I unboxed the other day, yesterday. But this is the battery and the charge unit. So let's go ahead and open it up just to see what they look like since I wasn't able to show you guys on the other unboxing. So again, this is a big battery. It's a big boy. It's, it's fairly heavy. So this, this is the size of my hand in reference. So this is their uh, Flex Force Toro 60 volt 7.5 amp. 400 watt hour, good for 50 minutes of uh, lawn mowing with the Econo blade. It's got the battery level meter here. It looks like it's got one meter, so I'll need to charge it before I use the lawnmower. So pretty standard battery. It's got a little handle on top because it's a pretty big, heavy battery. So that's the battery that it comes with from Toro. And then here is, this should be the charger for the battery. So I'm going to go ahead and open this guy up here. So this is what the charger looks like. Flex Force charger. Looks like it stands up like this. And you got the plug here and then you just power it in. And the battery, let's see here. So you got the connectors here. So it looks like it just pretty much slides in front like this. And then after you plug in, it charges so pretty easy after after it charges looks like you just slide it out just like that so it's not like there's any lock mechanism on this guy if you put it in light turns on green light means charging red blinking means there's something wrong red means charging solid green 100% and blinking means it's charging So let's go ahead and plug it in just to see the light indicator. Okay, so I have this now plugged into an outlet, two prong outlet, and I'm gonna go ahead and place this battery in. Oh, after hearing a couple of clicks, you see the green light blinking, and that pretty much signifies that it's charging. So 
after it charges you should see a hundred percent solid green then you're good to go and you're ready to pop this into the lawnmower and mow away if it's hot if the battery's too hot it looks like it's solid red and it won't charge and if there's something wrong with the battery it blinks with uh, a problem with the battery so yeah so this is the battery part of the video again this came shipped separately uh, from Home Depot due to safety hazards of shipping batteries uh, um, through uh, UPS FedEx uh, auto carriers but again if you bought it together if you went in like say Home Depot Lowe's and just bought the lawnmower from the retail store the, this comes with the kit so this was shipped separately just because I bought it online from Home Depot so yeah guys this is the battery part of it okay now that the battery is fully charged with four green LED indicator we're gonna go ahead and put it into the lawnmower now you hear a little click close the cap hold the handle hit the button that's how loud the lawnmower is. Let's go cut some grass. It's on mulch right now since you don't see the bag. Not too loud. Wheels are self propelled. So there you have it, guys. Toro 60 volt max. Super Recycler Lawnmower with rubberized wheels, LED headlights, 60 volt system, minimal assembly required as you can see. Probably should only take you five minutes to install everything. Took us a little bit longer because we're filming uh, live also. But this is a 2022 model, right? Yep, 2022 model guys easy to install out of the box minimal assembly and once the battery and charger comes to us we'll go ahead and turn it on see how loud it is and let you guys know how it performs but this is also this is the retail boxing with everything in here just keep in mind home depot we did buy this from home depot online and it was shipped to us and they did remove the battery for shipping reasons and the battery did not come on the same day that this was delivered today so we're gonna have to find out where the battery's at but Home Depot did leave us a note looks like they did open the box and they left this note here saying that battery ships separately due to UPS hazmat regulations so if you want to have it right away out of the box you might want to buy this out of store but it's hard to find this in a Home Depot store, right? You have to order this online. Yeah, and do a pickup store option. Yeah, and do pickup store option if you don't want it shipped and have the battery um, in the box. So this one was shipped to our house, hence that's why they removed the battery. But there you have it. Thank you for watching. This has been another Ton Time review. We'll do another video of the lawnmower live and. Thank you for watching and if you liked the video, hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time. Stay safe out there.